this is for my Hi guys, so today I am back with another nail art tutorial and this time I'm going to show you how to make this sort of stone texture nail and there are a lot of ways to make this kind of nails but this is the way that I prefer because I like the outcome the most. First, I'm gonna start with making a Raffian manicure on two of my nails. It's basically just like painting your nails as usual, but just start it a little bit above the cuticle. You can do it freehand or you can use a nail sticker guide like this, or an office sticker label will work as well. I still prefer to do it freehand though because it's easier and more practical. After that, put on a fast drying top coat, here I'm using chest fit to protect the nails for a later step or you can just wait for an hour or so until the nail polish has completely dried. Meanwhile, let's make the stone texture look on your nails. For this technique that I'm gonna be using, you'll need to apply a liquid palisade sort of thing for easy cleaning up. And here I'm using the Precise Nail Shield, which I will put the link down below on where you can get them. Or you can also just use scotch tape around your nails as well. For my stone, I want to make it look like a grey granite countertop. So I choose a range of whites, black, and grey nail polishes, and it's better if you use nail polishes with different finish like shimmer, cream, or polison to make the stone looks more real, I guess. It just looks more interesting with several different nail polish finish. Next, just blob a little bit of each nail polish on a piece of paper, then using a disposable makeup sponge, dab the nail polishes on your nails. I like to do this from the lightest color to the darkest. For the first layer, it doesn't even need to cover your whole nail, just keep dabbing the color randomly and continue layering different colors. This technique is really forgiving so you can just keep dabbing the colors until you get the stone effect that you want. If you feel like it's too white, then add black and vice versa. I also like to dab a little bit of micro glitter nail polish, like this gorgeous holographic silver and this iridescent white from Essence. Finally, I like to finish it all off using glitter nail polish on top, and I'd recommend that one of them being an iridescent flaky glitter. Trust me guys, adding these little extra bits will make a big difference on the final look. Then peel off the liquid palisade. <sighs> I love liquid palisade, it makes cleaning up so much easier. Now for the other nails where I did Raffian manicure, I'm gonna use an office sticker label to make this curve sort of guy and put it on top of the Raffian manicure like this and do the same stone look. Once you're done, peel off the sticker label immediately and since we already put on a fast drying top coat, the Tiffany blue nail polish underneath it won't come off with the sticker. For my pinky and thumb, I'm gonna do a reverse version of my pointer and middle finger. And for the final touches, I'm just gonna add some outlines using a champagne nail polish. And you can pretty much be done with it or you can make it extra fancy easily by putting on some rhinestones on top. I used the silver and black rhinestones and also some gold beads. I used acrylic here to stick them on my nails but you can also use clear nail polish as well. And ta-da! You're done! I love how rhinestones can make a big change on the feel of the nail art. And I will put the link down below on where you can get this kind of rhinestones. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it and find it helpful somehow. <laughs> and as always, if you guys recreate this nail art or any nail art on my channel, please send me the photo on my Instagram or you can also send me snaps to my Snapchat because I just created Snapchat recently and I am obsessed with it and I would love to see you guys on my Snapchat. Alright, other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!